Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. So today I'm here with some more from the new collection that's from Card Making Magic and these are all available at Craftstash. So here we have the Tapis Builder die set, we have the Tall Flowers and the Mindful Words. Now this has a stamp set that matches it and they will come together like this. And this is designed to fit on top of the box lid that is the new circular box. And of course your words can go on anything that you um, create. Now the Tapis Builder dies won't come to you on a magnetic sheet. They will just come inside a, a cellophane bag inside the box. So I've used a magnetic sheet and I have set my dies out in the pattern that it shows on the front of the, the box. And don't forget these are a mirror image of this because this is how it will cut. So if you use that one it will cut this shape. And then if you put them back on the sheet when you're finished with them as they are in the design you'll know that they will fit inside your circle or onto your circle beautifully. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the card. So with the large circular die I have folded a piece of black card in half and I've put the die on it so that the cutting edge is just off the top of the card and once I've run that through the die cutting machine it's joined and I have a card that will stand. Now because it's circular it won't stand as it is. You will need to level the bottom of the back panel off ever so slightly so that it gives you a straight base to stand the card on. Now using the same die I've cut another circle in black and that will sit on the front of my card. So with the back of the card now level you'll find that that will stand no problem at all and this is the front that will attach to it but not yet. Now for the next layer I've taken a turquoise card and I have cut all my dies as they are on there. So I've laid them out onto my sheet. So we'll do it the other way around. And I have cut those out. Now once they've been cut I've then also laid them back onto the mat just as they are as they've been cut. So again I'm just reversing it because the cutting edge is along there. So we need to put these down the correct way so that we have a complete circle. Now the only one that's consistent as I said is the square. So we can pop that in the middle and build around it. Now if you look at your pattern these two have got curved edges but the longer one will go at the top. The shorter one goes on the side. The bigger of the sail like shape goes on this side and this one will go at the bottom. Now these two are slightly different. One is slightly bigger than the other so you need to make sure that you get them down in the correct position to complete your circle nice and neatly. So there we are. Now once you've done that, put your first layer of dies back on your, on your card, on your magnetic sheet and take the second layer of dies up. So take the second one of each of the dies, let's try and move this down a little bit. And then we're going to cut another layer, so for this I've gone to a paler turquoise and for this one I've cut the dies again, I've cut the shapes again and they will marry up with the shapes that are already down on your, your mat. There's the square in the middle. There's the longer one that marries up with this and there's the little short one that goes on the side. Now again you need to make sure that you get these lined up right so that they fit on the shape. 
So there we are. Now once you've done that, put your second layer of dies back on your meat on your sheet and get your third layer. And then you can cut a paler colour still to go next on your card. So again, that's going to sit on there. This will sit along there. This little short one will sit in there. The square goes in the middle. The longer one with the curved edge goes at the top. And these are the dies that will now sit on the other shapes. Now I think that one goes there. And that one will go there. So those now are all ready for layering and I'm not bothering with the smallest of the fourth layers. So I can put that layer back into my card. I can take the fourth layer out if I wish, but I'm not going to do that. And now I can pop those back in their box and they are ready now to be put away. So now we can start getting all this together. Now as you're gluing these, if you keep them in the pattern that you need for your card, you won't get annoyed with yourself because you can't match up the pieces or you have to keep trying different pieces to match them up. This saves you an awful lot of time. I know it looks fiddly but it's not, it's, it's an easy way to do it. And now when I put that one there I have now got my circle again ready for my card. So I've got my base, I've got my layer I've got my tapis builder portions and now I'm going to take the, um, the tall flowers and I'm going to cut these out again, the ones that I want, in black card. So I've cut most of them, I can always put some on one side that I don't need. Now from the word set I've also taken the words thankful let me find the other word, there it is. Thankful for you. And I'm going to add these to my card as well as the black flowers. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop all this onto my, my layer, onto my mat. Now I'm adding foam pads to the back of all my pieces because I want these to be raised up as they're added to my circle. You can also use your circle die to help you with placement on the actual card layer. So we'll lay that down there and we'll pop these in where we want them. So that's how they're going to go and this is how it will look once these are all stuck in place. So I'll go away now and glue all these down with the foam pads and then I'll come back to you when I've finished. Now you've kept to the pattern that's shown on the, on the card itself and there's your tapis builders stuck onto the front of your panel. Now you, that doesn't mean you have to add it that way to your card. You can add that any way you want to the front of your card. Now I'm going to keep this large panel at the top and I'm going to put thankful for and I think I'll put you there and then I'll have a dry run with my flowers to see what I like and where I like them and they're going to be added along here to complete the decoration. So we'll put this one down at the bottom and we'll add in some leaves at the bottom and we'll put these little flourishes along the sides. So we'll keep these now for another card and we'll glue those into place. So once you've got everything stuck to your layer you can take your base card and open it out and use your cutting board to line the straight edge up at the back and that then will make sure that you get your front to your card straight and then once you've done that it will stand beautifully for your recipient so let's just glue this into place Now that 
that's on nice and straight and of course once you stand it now you've got your card ready to give. Now you can decorate that up with some pearls or diamante if you wish. You could change out the sentiment that and it would make a really nice sympathy card. I know we don't like making them but on occasions we do have to comply. So to finish my card I've just added some tiny blue pearls to the, the front of the design. And this is a recap of the things that we've used. So we've used the Tapis Builder die set. I've used the Mindful Words and I've used the die and black card to create the tall flowers. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.